What's up? This is Squad2448. We are following Silent 217 Fire Rescue video. Today we'll be responding to many fires here on the Mong map. We'll be hopping in the Chevy 3500 HD Chief Truck and we'll be heading over to our station with our lights and sirens on. We just got a call that a boat crashed on the land and is now on fire. Very large boat, around 30 feet long. So we'll be kind of going over to the station as fast as we can, hopping in the brush truck since it is a little bit off-road, everything like that. So this will be pretty cool, being able to use a brush truck, and I'm just excited to be back here doing some fire rescue videos, and I appreciate all of the support on these. So we'll kind of run over here, over to the brush truck, which is the Ram 5500. I really do like it a lot. I will be working on getting all the LED lights working. Other than that, I mean, this is one awesome truck, so we'll kind of pull out here and uh, you do have to kind of get over there as safely as possible but as fast so I mean it is a pretty cool thing to do but I really do enjoy responding to fires and it's a lot of fun so it looks like we went one turn too far which is okay I mean this truck definitely uh, is a little bit easier to drive and faster than the large engine like I was saying, guys, take a look at that. Looks like it has a tree on fire now. So, I mean, this is pretty much a boat and a uh, tree fire. So, this will be pretty interesting. We'll uh, take the start road all the way down over there. And luckily, we have good ground clearance. So we'll be able to just kind of cruise on down and right over here. Take a look at that. I mean, this boat is on fire. So, I think that this will be the safest... Uh, spot for us. I think that's going to be good. We'll kind of come over here, we'll grab our pump, and we'll get started on putting out the water already. I mean, we got to be very efficient, and this pump is definitely taking the water from the lake over here since, I mean, it's very close. And let's get some water on this boat. Looks like the front of the boat is not really on fire. It's the engines, which are in the back, and this does have twin engines, which are diesel. So, I mean, pretty large engines, and we'll continue at this. If you do have any cool fire rescue ideas, drop them down below in the comments. We do have a few other very cool uh, fires we will be responding to later today. But this boat is definitely not wanting to go out. We'll have to put more and more water on it as we kind of walk all the way around. And I am kind of going as close as to uh, I can to the ground, making it a little bit easier. And the heat is a lot less way down there, which is perfect. And it looks like uh, the tree is not on fire just yet, but the grass is. So we'll kind of have to walk around and continue to put it out. And uh, these are very interesting and hard fires at the same time. And uh, usually like the Coast Guard would come, but uh, this is a lake, so uh, we can't really be having them come. So we'll kind of continue to put out the fire here. Looks like uh, we could get a little bit closer. I mean, we are up close, kind of uh, putting it into a cabin. And I believe the engines are right back here. And uh, that's going to be a pretty massive... Uh, boat that's going to have to be kind of towed out of here probably on a tow truck because it will be unable to float and as you guys can see i mean they pretty much did crash off of the water so that looks to be good and we'll kind of uh, finish up here and catch you back once the fire is out as you guys can see the fire is now out this was a very large one but it was successful and as you guys can see we'll kind of take a closer look at it it looks like they were probably kind of going way too fast and did not turn and they kind of came all the way over here onto the grass and crashed right over here into that tree, which kind of caused it to go on fire. So, I mean, it's good we got over here in a very safe amount of time. So, next up, we'll be hopping back into the ram. And I also did get a few requests to kind of add those water pumps to the vehicles. There are a few trucks way back in FS15 that did that. So, that's going to be pretty cool if we could get that working. I mean, that's going to be awesome. And we'll definitely have to look into that. And if you do know how to add the LED lights to the trucks, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll have you help me out with a few uh, rescue trucks. So right now, we are heading back over to the fire station, and we'll kind of uh, wait over there for the next call, but this Ram uh, rescue truck is very efficient, and we'll definitely be looking into maybe a few more brush trucks, maybe a Ford or a GMC. So let me know what other types of trucks should we build, should we put together. I really want this to be a pretty cool multiplayer series, which we will be doing some within the next... Uh, few fire rescue videos so as we are heading back you guys can see that we do have off-road tires on this also which is pretty helpful 
and I'd like to thank you for the continued support on the daily content. It's a lot of fun doing daily farming sim videos just like this one. As you guys can see, we made it back over here to the fire station. We'll kind of be uh, backing up here and just parking up, but very successful putting out that fire and, I mean, very challenging, especially the train we did have to drive on. But since we're back here at the station, we should pretty much be washing up the trucks. We'll have to get some pressure washers, but we'll kind of uh, catch you back for the next call. A call just came in that a car is on fire at an office building. We'll be hopping in engine 51 and we'll be making our way over there. This is a, the perfect fire truck for the job. It has a lot of water on the inside and it's overall very helpful. So we kind of going over there pretty a small car fire. But we have to get over there as fast as we can to stop it from spreading. And hopefully it did not kind of spread over to the trees. And this truck does not have any lights but it does have a few horns so I mean not too much and take a look at that guys I could already see the fire and the office entrance is on this street over here so we kind of go over there as fast as we can it looks like a parked vehicle was just caught on fire and uh, they definitely will have to investigate it but take a look at that guys we arrived here on scene I mean that BMW is up in flames I mean pretty expensive car it looks to be like a coupe two door so we'll have to kind of come over here put the engine out and it looks like it now spread over to this tree the tree is fully engulfed so take a look at that guys we'll have to kind of spray down the tree looks like the back of the car is okay looks like it's only the engine area so I mean this car fire is pretty much uh almost over now it's just this major tree on fire I mean take a look at this you can see it from a pretty far distance away so we'll have to kind of walk around and we do also want to kind of spray some water on that tree kind of get those branches wet to stop any ashes or anything like that from going over to the next tree because we do not want this to be a very, very large fire that's uh, going to be pretty hard if it does become one of those. So we'll kind of uh, continue to put it out and always you do want to be very safe when there is a fire and uh, you always want to call the correct people and uh, when you are kind of uh, trying to put it out, just keep your distance and make sure that you are always safe. You guys can see there's a few pops, but we'll kind of continue to put this out. Looks like the uh, car fire is over, and now it is just kind of finishing this uh, tree. So we'll kind of have to continue. As you guys can see, the tree is now out. Looks like a lot of the branches did get burnt, and we'll definitely have to call the tree company out here to kind of cut down the rest of it to prevent it from falling. And it looks like this BMW just was caught on fire. There is some damage over here to the hood, and definitely to like the entire front end and the engine. But take a look at that, guys. We were able to put out the second fire of the day, which was pretty cool. We'll be hopping back in Engine 51, one of my favorite trucks. And this truck, I believe, was released all the way back in Africa. FS13 and was converted to FS15 and now it's an FS17 which is pretty cool. I really do like using pretty cool mods just like this one. So if you do have any cool fire truck ideas, anything like that, let me know down below in the comments. I want to maybe even build another station. That would be pretty cool to kind of uh, extend our fire operations to maybe another one which should be pretty cool. But I think what we'll do is we'll kind of uh, hop in our truck once we get back and we'll just kind of head over to the other side of town and we'll just kind of check in there at the uh, volunteer station since I think that it's going to be cool if we could get a call and we'll just kind of go over there so we'll definitely give that a try once we kind of park up but we also do need to get gas for the Duramax so I think that's probably what we will also be doing so as you guys can see we made it back here and usually when you kind of pull into the fire station you turn your uh, emergency lights back on and then back into the building so uh, like we're saying I do have to get all those lights working on a lot of the trucks if you do now to do let me know down below in the comments and that's pretty much it for this fire station I mean that was very very successful we'll be hopping back in the Chevy Duramax I will be uh, kind of downsizing the wheels kind of taking the lift kit off it and a lot of you guys requested me to do that which was pretty cool I do uh, really like uh, doing videos with your ideas so next up we'll kind of head over here to the gas station get a little bit of gas and then we'll kind of make our way over to the other one and if we do to get a call as we are, are heading over there we'll definitely kind of stop by so we'll kind of pull in here very large truck for a gas station so we'll kind of pop out and we'll definitely fill it up looks like it's actually on this side so actually yeah so we kind of have to back up rearrange just a little bit and that should be good right about there 
Awesome. As you guys can see, we just filled up the Duramax with diesel. I mean, this is a very large truck. It does not get good gas mileage. So we're going to pull out of the gas station and we'll be making our way over just to kind of check in with a volunteer station. And like I was saying, if we do get a call, we'll definitely uh, head over there if we are close enough and uh, not too far from our main one. And if you haven't already, I do recommend you go check out the upgrade video where we did upgrade the fire station and set up this volunteer station. We just got a call. We just got a call that an airplane crashed and is now on fire at the large airport. We'll be turning our lights and sirens on and the closest fire station is a volunteer one. So we'll be going over there as fast as we can. We did pull off the ground just a little bit and we should start to see the fire because it's a very large one. The plane crashed into a tree on the runway and you guys can already see that smoke. So I mean this is one major fire. We made it over here. We'll kind of just park up just like that. Doesn't have to be the best parking job and we'll be hopping in the old Ford uh, pumper truck as you guys can see here. And I do also would like to say that this uh, airport does not have its own fire station. So uh, this volunteer station is pretty much also serving there but we'll kind of make our way over here and Take a look at that guys, this actually also does have working lights on it, which is pretty cool. But we made it over here and take a look at that, we could barely see the plane. Looks like uh, this will be one major fire, one of the largest fires we have responded to. So take a look at that, looks like the water pump is in the fire just a little bit. We'll kind of have to pull it out, grab the hose, and we have to start putting this out. I can see, it looks like a two prop uh, airplane, and I mean, take a look at that, a uh, fire on either side, and it looks like... There is a tree over here also, and the wing is up against the tree, so one major airplane fire. I mean, this is very intense, and we'll definitely have to kind of build some airplane fire trucks. That would be pretty cool, airport ones, and uh, like I was saying, guys, uh, this airport currently does not have one. But take a look at that, guys. The airplane is kind of getting a little bit easier to see, which means that the fire is getting a lot smaller, so we'll have to kind of continue to put it out here. And it's definitely spreading a lot, so we'll have to kind of pour a lot of water on it. I'm right here at the engine. You guys can see that this is the main area where it's on fire. And I mean, hopefully this, hopefully this tree does not fall down onto the plane, because that will cause more damage and possibly spread the fire even more. So I'm just kind of going back and forth, making sure that we are kind of getting the entire airplane, since it looks like the entire area is engulfed in flames. As you guys can see, the fire is now over. We can see the two prop planes, so we'll kind of uh, put the fire hose back here. They will actually have to call out a team here to kind of take the airplane off the airport area. And you guys can see it kind of came down the runway and crashed into the tree, which is not good. We might have to remove a lot of the trees here at the airport. But I mean, we got the fire under control. Now it's completely out, which is pretty good. So we'll be hopping back in our old Ford fire truck and we'll be making our way over to the fire station. I hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.